Take some time to orient yourself in a way you find to be most comfortable. You may want to lie down and perhaps even close your eyes. Comfort is key and any position you inevitably choose should work just fine as you alone know what comforts you the most. It may be wise to pause the recording while you do this. Now, if you want to close your eyes, that's a good idea, but if you don't, that's fine too. Now, just listen quietly to the sound of my voice, and of course you'll be aware of all those other sounds too. Sounds from inside the building, and sounds from outside, but these won't disturb you. In fact, they are going to help you relax, because the only sound you need to think about is the sound of my voice. And while you're listening to the sound of my voice, just simply allow your body to be at ease, as you allow yourself to relax even more now. I wonder if you can sense the beating of your own heart. Sensing that beat, and just seeing whether you can use the power of your mind to slow that heartbeat down. Just a touch. Just seeing whether you can use the power of your mind to slow that heartbeat down just a little. You can then feel your whole body slowing down becoming lazier and lazier. Nobody wanting anything, nobody expecting anything. So you can allow your whole body to continue to relax and become steadier and easier until it's just taking over like a well-maintained machine just taking over, smoothly, easily, quietly, comfortably, so that you can become gradually more aware of your whole self. Aware of your legs, just sensing how relaxed they might be and wondering if it's possible to relax them even more. To be so in touch with yourself that you can actually get your whole body, perhaps, to relax even more. Yet remaining totally alert and noticing now how even your face muscles can begin to really relax. Relaxing and letting go of the tensions that were there, almost, but not quite, completely unnoticed. Just being vaguely aware of your coat and the muscles of your face settling, smoothing out such a good feeling. Wondering just how long all that tension had been there, where it all came from in the first place, and then realizing that you simply couldn't care less, because you can feel it draining away from you now, and that feels good. And as you continue to sense the beating of your heart and the absolute steadiness of your body's rhythm, you wonder at the fact that you are so absolutely relaxed and comfortable that you simply can't be bothered to even try to move a single muscle. Even though you know you easily could if you wanted to. I know that you easily could if you wanted to. 
but you simply can't be bothered to even try, allowing yourself to just be relaxed and relaxing even more now, as lazy and relaxed as anyone could ever wish to be. And I wonder if you can now manage to relax even more, even though you are already as relaxed as it is possible for most people to ever be. Just finding those last tiny traces of tension in your body and simply letting them go with each easy, gentle, breath you breathe. I'm going to count down from five, and with each layer you find yourself falling deeper and more relaxed. Five. You are just so relaxed and feel yourself going even deeper. Four. You feel yourself slipping a little bit more. Three. Ah, such a relaxed state. Such an enjoyable state. Two. Just continue listening as your mind slips into a nice, deep trance. One. Empty of everything as everything has faded away. And now that your mind is calm and clear, just gradually relax as everything unimportant fades away for a short while. We are just going to be watching a little play. A play about you and your mind and your body. Relax and enjoy as these words just dip slowly, deeply down under your skin, making it so much easier to feel the sensation they talk about in place of what you'd usually feel. To see the images they speak of in place of what you'd usually see. You slowly become aware of your unicorn body, the hooves and legs you stand or lay on, the mane and tail flowing over your slender figure, the friendly muzzle and perky ears on top of your head, your magical horn. You are a unicorn, a magical pony. With pride you feel your horn, your powerful horn. Like the warmth of a soothing candle, you can feel the energy of its tip radiating just above your forehead, soothing you, reassuring you. You focus on this warmth and slowly intensify it, the warmth slowly glowing warmer and warmer while the light of a small spark illuminates your unicorn body. As you inhale, you feel the warmth running through your body, invigorating you, revitalizing you. And now, now that you are relaxed, you are ready to enjoy your little adventure. Your adventure to the spa and to the relaxation the spa is offering. A small bell tinkles as you enter the soothingly decorated room. You look around and are amazed by its oriental ornaments. The walls are covered in dark wood and decorated with beautiful deep red drapes. You make out the sound of a small waterfall in the background as two earth ponies rush towards you and bid you welcome. One is Lotus, a beautiful blue-coated mare with a pink mane. The other is her cute twin sister Aloe. She is a young blue maned mare with a pink coat. She clubs her hooves together in excitement. G 
Cheerfully they greet you and guide you to a pillow. You see a lower living to prepare for your other treatments, gathering various objects with her, while Lotus remains at your side, waiting for you. As you lay down on the soft pillow, Lotus begins massaging your pony backside. She's gently netting your shoulders before leisurely moving lower and lower. You can feel her hooves moving on your backside. Slowly the tension starts flowing away from your body as you relax even more. She manages to do a wonderful job on your back, moving her hooves back and forth over your coat and you exhale deeply as she occasionally moves her hooves in a circular motion. Slowly she begins massaging your lower backside, continuing to move her hooves in the same soothing patterns as before. You close your eyes in relaxation and listen to the soft music and the waterfall over at the bath, while she slowly works around the base of your tail. You fear that she is an expert at massaging. She is so skilled and manages to tend to every part of your backside where there is even the slightest soreness. You feel every muscle in your body loosen up as she does her magic, gently massaging every inch of your back until there is not a single strain of tension left. The massage has so far been simply amazing. It's nice to have a moment for yourself once in a while, a moment to relax and reflect on your thoughts. The last of your tensions slip away as your massage is completed. Your shoulders gently nudge to tell you it's time for the sauna. You are led into a moderately hot room. In the air you can smell faint smells aromatics, mint, eucalyptus, menthol. You inhale and feel how your airways are opened. You lay down on the bench and Lotus throws a scoopful of water on the rock before leaving you in the warmth of the sauna. The stones hiss and a small mass of warm moist air surround you. It feels wonderful to be in the sauna and sweat away the dirt from your pony body. Another hiss is heard from the stones and you relax even more. You can smell the faint scent of flowers and the steam. You lay back as you try to remember the name of the flower. Then you remember it's probably a special blend from Sikora and give up, relaxing completely. You have now been in the sauna for a little while and enjoying of the warmth. You can already feel a little bit cleaner, but even more relaxed and calm. Your ears perk up a little as you notice some pony walking into the sauna. This time it's Aloy, the pink pony with the blue mane. She's here to tell you that the mud bath is ready for you, and that they are waiting for you. No need to hurry though. You smile and stand up, leaving the sauna behind you. But first, a little cooling off. Aloy had brought a drink with her. In her muzzle she carries a small plate with a tall glass on it with a straw. The drink is light red in color. Aloy tells you that it is a revitalizing drink. It is good to drink something after sauna since you have been dehydrating. You take a sip and taste a cocktail of different berries. It tastes delicious and fresh and slightly cold. You take another sip and enjoy this moment of your day at the spa. It has been wonderful so far. You finish the drink with a fresh taste of it still in your mouth. 
Now it is time for your mud bath. You gently walk to the bathtub filled with mud. You look at the dark brown, glimmering surface of it. Supposedly already the ancient ponies knew about mud bath and the healing effects they have. You lower yourself into the mud, hooves first, then the rest of your pony body. You even lower your backside in the mud. Only your head is above the surface. It is warm and it feels slightly heavy to move in. The mud in the bathtub feels soothing and calming to your nerves. It does feel a little strange at first to be in mud, but soon you adjust yourself. So being in the mud feels comfortable. You listen to the sounds in the spa, to the waterfall, and to Lotus and Aloe preparing the upcoming treatments. You let out a small sigh and enjoy the feeling. Every pony deserves to have a good day off once in a while. You are mildly surprised as you feel a hoof applying mud on your face, gently stroking your cheeks, tipping your forehead and following the outline of your perky muscle. Slowly moving from the tip of your muscle to the bottom of your chin, covering it in warm, soothing clay. You see Lotus approaching with a small bowl with cucumbers, the last part of your facial mask. The moisturizers for your eyelids. She places the bowl with the cucumbers next to you, and then she lays the cucumbers of your big, beautiful eyes. You exhale deeply as the twins leave you alone for a short while, and gently lower yourself in the mud. While you relax, you empty your mind and focus on the warm feeling of the mud around your body. A warm, soothing feeling running through your tail, legs and coat, while you listen to the relaxing sound of the waterfall. You feel a gently notion from Lotus to signal that it's time to move on to the next treatment the aromatic bath. Before it though, the mud must be washed off your body. You wouldn't want to ruin the bath water with mud now, would you? You are led to a closed off part of the spa with a shower in it. In it you can wash off the mud from your coat. You turn the shower on and the water starts running over your body. It follows alongside your features the curves of your body. It washes the mud of your coat, flushing it in the drain. As the mud is washed off, it reveals your coat color. First, just a couple of parts, but then it reveals more and more until every speck of the mud is gone. Now all of your entire body is clean, and you can see your whole body completely. As Lotus nods that now you are ready for the aromatic bath. Slowly you walk to the pool where Aloe has already prepared everything, just for you. You gently lower your pony body in the water, feeling the warm, soothing water rise of your hooves, legs and body. It's a shallow pool just leaving your tail and mane floating on the surface as you lie down, which make them easy to wash later on. You let out a small sigh of relief and close your eyes as the water soothes your senses. It smells heavenly. You take a small moment to take in the smell. You can make out the fragrances of different kinds of flowers and sea salt. Smells of peonies and jasmine flowers fill up your nostrils along with chamomile. And the sea salt on top of it makes a small yet exciting touch to its entireness. 
You are startled as you suddenly feel somebody massaging your mane. You look up to see two pink hooves gently running through your mane. Clouds of bubbles float up as aloe shampoos your hair. You also feel a gentle pulling on your tail. Lotus must have begun washing your tail as well. Smoothly, aloe continues cleaning your mane. But your pony ears are not forgotten. Playfully she brushes through them washing away small bits of foam that found their way there. They perk up as she softly rubbed the tip of your right ear, only to droop down again as she gently starts scratching the back of your other ear. It feels absolutely amazing. With a wink, Aloy asks you to close your eyes again. You wonder what is going to happen next. But you have little time to ponder as you feel a bucket of refreshing cold water being emptied over you. Surprised, you let out a little yelp. Revitalized, you step out of the pool and let the twin mares dry you off with their towels. From the end of your tail to the tip of your ears. But your treatment is not over yet. You lie down on a pillow and gently rest your head on a slightly elevated cushion, giving the twins enough space to work with your hair. You feel a Louis starting to cut your mane. It's just going to be a trimming of your current mane style, so you don't have to worry about a new mane cut. Skillfully she starts shortening your mane with the scissors in her hooves. You notice a few locks of hair falling to the floor, and all the colors of your mane. She carefully cuts around your ears and clips away the strains of hair that are too long to be left as they are. Lotus herself is trimming your tail. She is cutting away the unneeded strains of hair and shortening the length of others. You can feel a gently pulling of your tail at some times while she trims it. But that doesn't bother you, for you know that they are professionals. It doesn't take too long before both of the twins have finished trimming both your mane and your tail. Now that they are newly cut, they look much better than before. Maybe even better than the last time you had a mane and tail cut. Your smile, getting some mane away from the eyes, is going to help you to see properly. You look in a small mirror as Aloy carefully starts styling your mane. You watch as the individual strains fall before your eyes, cleaner and prettier than before, before Aloy expertly combs them back into place, until your mane is back in the lovely style it used to be. Meanwhile, Lotus gently combs through your tail. You can feel the gently pulling on your tail as she works her way through some tangles. It feels surprisingly pleasant. In your imagination, you picture your beautiful tail, running from the base all the way to its tip, being tenderly brushed by the blue pink maned mare. The three of you are happily chatting as the twins start cleaning your hooves gently polishing the imperfections away and pecking the dirt loose from under your hooves. It does tickle a bit to get touched there. Your hooves have always been a bit sensitive and hoofy cure is no exception. Finally, your hooves are clean and you can relax again, while admiring your own reflection in the polish. You can almost feel your hooves are lighter now than before. You smile as Lotus picks up a brush in her mouth and gently starts brushing your coat, slowly moving her way up your legs, over the back of your body, all the way to the top of your neck, gently brushing the coat until it shines. You feel the last ounces of stress, should any have remained, falling off your body as Lotus smoothly brushes it away. She gives special attention to your cutie mark. 
the careful brushing makes its colors more vibrant and its shapes stand out. You look at it with pride as you remember how much that mark means to you. Aloe comes over with a file in her mouth. She starts rubbing it back and forth over your horn. Your horn tickles a little, but this is just as important part of the spa visit as the others. Horns need to be taken care of, so casting spells will be easier. This is just what you needed. Next comes the polishing as she pours some of Sikora's best ointments on your horn. You feel a gentle tingling as she carefully starts spreading the oil from the base of your horn to its tip, cleaning away the minor imperfections. You feel the magic starting to surge through your horn as the channels are being unblocked one by one by Aloy's expert massaging. Working with your magic is going to be so much easier tonight. The twins nod towards each other, and Lotus points to a big standing mirror at the other side of the room. Curious, you walk towards it and admire yourself in your own reflection. You can see your pony body. The gentle waving of your soft mane and swishing tail. Your perky muzzle and pointy ears. The shine of your coat. A beautiful pony, ready to seize the day. You gently hug the two mares goodbye and walk through the door. The little bell tinkling again as it did when you first came here and you think back to a wonderful day. The relaxing massage, the hot sauna, the warm mud bath, the soothing aromatic bath, the trimming of your mane and tail, the comforting brushing. A relaxing day indeed. And now that you are completely relaxed, it is time to wake back up. Waking up on the count of five, you'll find that with each number you'll wake up a little bit more. The sensations of your pony body just becoming that much stronger. One, waking up now. Two, more and more. Three. Consciousness returning. Four. Almost there. Five. Refreshed and awake. And I hope you enjoyed, little pony. <laughs>